Hey man, congrats on getting the Romeo role. Very exciting. Thanks. Who is this? It's Henry. Oh, well, thank you. And congratulations to you too. Yeah? Mercutio is a great role too. You're gonna kill it. I was hoping for something bigger. Next time, man. I mean, your audition was great. Blew everyone away. But I know that I'd be a perfect Romeo. Yeah, I'm sure you'd be good too. So glad you agree. I'm sure the only reason I didn't get it was because my mom didn't want to seem like she was playing favorites. No offense. Is that what she said? Not exactly. But you know, it sucks that my mom's the director. I thought my audition was so good. Why are you texting me? To congratulate you, man. Don't get all butt hurt. Okay, see you at school. Wait, I want to ask you something. What? Obviously, Romeo and Juliet is a romance, and it's important to have inspiration, especially for the main role. What do you mean? Well, I got the feeling that you weren't, you know, straight. What? Who told you that? No one. I just sensed it. Is that true? Why are you asking? Because I wanted to know if you had a boyfriend. Maybe a handsome fellow actor. It would be good inspiration for the role. Wow. I didn't think you were interested. Do you like me? Well, I don't really know you. Are you attracted to me, Tony? Yeah. Am I your type? Um, yes. So you are gay? Yes, but you know our area. It's not really safe to be out. I knew it. So do you want to go out sometime? Like, maybe this weekend? God, no. I'm not gay. Wait, what? Why did you ask? Henry? Henry. Mom, I need to talk to you about the play. Honey, Mercutio plays an important role. We already went over this. It's about Tony playing Romeo. He was the best actor for the part. End of story. That's what you think now, but you're gonna change your mind. I'm not. The casting announcements are already out. He's gay, Mom. Or worse, he just came on to me. He basically demanded that I go out with him this weekend. I don't know why he thought I was like that. Oh? Yeah, it's gross. And he's flaunting it. I guess he's out of the closet now and looking for hookups left and right. Do you really think that someone like that would be believable as Romeo? Well, maybe I should talk to him. Why? I already know how you feel about gay people. And this is Oklahoma. Everyone feels the way you do. They're sick. They've lost their way. And if you put on a play that promotes their lifestyle, can you imagine the uproar? But I already made the announcement. Be logical, Mom. You're the new drama teacher in a small traditional town. I know how hard you work to get funding for this program. You need Romeo and Juliet to be a success, and it won't be with Tony causing unnecessary drama by the way he acts. It's not about me. Think about you. About your program. Do you really want to risk it? No, I don't. Good. And you already said that I would have made a good Romeo, so... I guess you're right. You got the part. Thanks. Wise decision. Tony, are you busy? I tried calling. I'm here. What's up, Miss Karen? I thought the first rehearsal wasn't until Monday. It is. This is a bit difficult for me. There was a mistake in the casting announcement tonight. What kind of mistake? I'm sorry, you're not Romeo. If you're still interested in participating, we can use someone to help with the sound. I don't understand. What changed? It was just a mistake in the announcements, but the sound assistant is a very important role. Role? That's not a role. And I'm terrible with tech stuff. I'm an actor, and a really good one. Is this Henry's idea? My son has nothing to do with this. So he won't be replacing me as Romeo, Miss Karen? He'll be Romeo. God, I can't believe this. He texted me out of nowhere, and then he started flirting with me. He basically tricked me into coming out to him, and he's using it to take my part. Stop. Is this because I'm gay? Watch your language, young man. It's not a bad word. Gay, gay, gay. What's wrong with that? Stop! I don't talk about my son that way. He'd never flirt with another boy. 
That's literally what he did. He manipulated me, and now he's manipulating you. Miss Karen, you can't let him do this. Stop blaming other people for your mistakes. Mistakes? I rescind the sound crew offer. Wait, let me call you. If you try and contact me, I'll have to speak to the principal. Hey, horrible news. I won't be in the play with you. What? But you're my Romeo. Was. Miss Karen changed her mind. Why? Because she's a homophobe. Huh? She knows you're gay. I thought I was the only one you told. You and Henry. Henry? Idiot, bad actor with stinky mouth, Henry. Why would you tell him? He texted me. It seemed like he was gay too. Like he was trying to ask me out. You wanted to go out with Henry Karen? Honey, you could do so much better than that mouth breather. In this town. It's not like I'm swimming in options. I figured that since he brought it up, maybe I could finally get a boyfriend. Well, he is kind of hot. Shut up. Sorry. Yeah, he's trying to ruin your life. That's definitely not hot. Trying and succeeding. I lost the role, and now Miss Karen knows about me. If I try to complain about all this, she'll talk to the principal, which means he'll know I'm gay, which means my parents will find out. And you know them. They'd kick me out in a heartbeat. I'm so sorry. Or worse, send me to some conversion therapy retreat to get waterboarded in the name of Jesus. You're being dramatic, but yeah, you're right. This is bad. What should I do? I can't just suffer in silence, you know. Maybe I can help. What? Put arsenic in his stage makeup? Well, I'll be spending a lot of time with him. Maybe I can arrange for some one-on-one -on -one time. You know, to work on our chemistry or whatever. I'm sure he has plenty of skeletons in his closet. And maybe I can pull out a few. Expose him to the world as a grade A creep. Are you sure you want to do that? Honey, he manipulated you. I think it's only fair to manipulate him back. And maybe take his mom down in the process. Love it. It'll be fun. And no matter what happens, you'll always be my Romeo. Hi, Romeo. This is your Juliet. I heard about the casting change. Hi, Angie. I hope you're okay working with me. I know you and Tony are pretty close. We were, but I go where the talent is. And right now, you're the star. I guess I am. Honestly, I'm excited about the change. Tony is great and all, but he's better for musical theater, you know? Shakespeare requires something different. Thank you. He couldn't tap into the romantic side of the role the way you can. You think so? I know so. Gosh, you're so humble. You probably don't even realize how magnetic, how handsome you are up on that stage. Wow. It's true. No wonder your mom dragged her feet before casting you. It's like she knew that if you played Romeo, you'd draw attention away from everyone else on stage. That's what I said. And it's true, which is why we should practice together. I don't want to be outshined by you. And I think if we spent some time together, we'd be able to sync our energies and build up the chemistry we need to make the show perfect. What do you say? You want to come over? Today? Why not? Perfect. On my way now. Oh my god, Tony. This guy just won't stop talking about himself. We barely spent any time going over lines. Are you still there? I'm in the bathroom. I need you to take a break from the Henry Karen fan club parade. I'm sorry you have to do this. What are straight best friends for, babe? Besides, I think I have some dirt. Yeah? So, I saw some old Karen family photos around the house, and apparently, perfect Henry wasn't always so perfect before he transferred here. He looked a lot different. How? Really, really bad acne. Plus, he was bigger. Fat? Let's just say Henry is half the man he used to be. No wonder he's so obsessed with attention. It's ugly duckling syndrome. So you think that's enough? Should I steal the most embarrassing photo and make a big poster for everyone to see? That's an idea, but maybe we can do something better. Are you still in the bathroom? Yeah. Look in the medicine cabinet. Okay. What do you see? Hair stuff? A shaver? Oh, an expensive acne treatment. Perfect. Anything else? There's a bunch of medicine bottles written in Spanish. I guess they're from Mexico. What's the name? Redutex. Let me Google it. Yep, it's a weight loss drug. And it's illegal. So we can have him arrested? 
Nah, I have another idea. Something much, much better. How was the first day of rehearsals? Not bad. I didn't mess up. You never do. And how was Henry? Terrible. Even worse than when we practiced yesterday. And it's hilarious to watch his mom try to direct him. There's only so many ways for her to say, please suck less. God, you'd be so much better in the role. Yep. But hey, at least he's straight. Any developments since our big medicine switch out? Well, the appetite stimulants seem to be working. I made sure to have boxes of cookies backstage, and once Henry was on break, they mysteriously vanished. I wonder where they went. <laughs> and his skin? No breakouts yet, but it's only a matter of time. What was the liquid you gave me to replace his medicine with? Vegetable oil, plus some shampoo to mask the smell. You're devious. No, we are. Good luck with the rest of the rehearsals. Wish I could be there. I wish so too. Henry, you were amazing today. Even better than when we practiced. It's not just your good looks that make you a star. Thanks. You were good too. In honor of our first day, I sent over a little present. It should be on your porch. You shouldn't have. What is it? It's a surprise. But I want you to eat all of them tonight to give you the luck for the rest of the show. It's a Farber High tradition. More cookies? Something like that. I really shouldn't. No one wants a fat Romeo. Oh, come on. One cheat day isn't going to kill your perfect figure. Besides, if you're still hungry, that means you haven't overeaten. I guess you're right. Enjoy. Angie, I have great news. You're straight and want to marry me. Nope. Gayer than ever. But I just got cast in a community theater production of Oklahoma. Ironic, right? Wow! We start rehearsals tomorrow, and I wouldn't have gotten it if I were still Romeo. This is huge! Congratulations! I wish I had good news about our show. Still bad? Even worse. Everyone else is fine, but Henry is just the dead weight in the middle of the stage. And I do mean weight. The guy is blowing up big time. Really? Haven't you seen him walking around school? Nope. We avoid each other like the plague. Probably for the best. But he's definitely bigger. And I think he doesn't notice because he still wears the same size clothes. Now he's just spilling out of them. Glad to hear. And he's finally starting to break out. He's definitely noticing that. I was talking to him before practice, and the whole time he had his finger on his chin. He was trying to look all thoughtful, but it was obviously because he was hiding a massive zit. Wow. I'll keep you posted. Love you. Ditto. Angie, can you be honest with me? Of course, my Romeo. What's up? Am I doing something wrong? During my big death scene, everyone started laughing. Seriously? Seriously? It was the nervous tension exploding in the room. You were so good that people didn't know how else to react. Really? What do you think? Don't you realize how talented you are? You're right. So, I think we should celebrate being halfway to the grand opening. Can I take you out? There's this really nice buffet in town that I know you'll like. I can't, sorry. Why not? My treat. No, I weighed myself this morning and I've put on a little weight. You probably can't tell, but I have. I think I need to hold back a bit. That's ridiculous. It's probably just muscle anyway. I did notice that your arms looked stronger. I guess. But my cousin had problems with her weight. She even took medicine for it. But after a while, the pills didn't work as much, so she had to take double the dosage. It really worked for her. I guess that doesn't apply to you because you never take medicine for that kind of stuff. Never mind. Double? Or maybe triple. I don't remember, but the pounds just melted off despite everything she ate. Anyway, do you still want that free dinner? Sure. What time? Hi, this is Miss Karen. Oh, hi. I thought I wasn't supposed to message you again. Let's let sleeping dogs lie, as Shakespeare would say. Actually, I think that was Chaucer. You're not making this any easier for me. Go on. There has been a development in our play, and I wanted to let you know that we might be open to inviting you back to the role of Romeo. 
Obviously, you'd have to work hard to catch up to everyone else, and you'd have to agree to keep your personal life private. Do you understand? I understand completely. Henry is terrible, and you regret giving him the role, and now you're desperate. And you know that I should have been Romeo all along. Is that right? No! The problem is costuming. Our Romeo no longer fits into the costume we got for him. So this has nothing to do with talent? Then I guess you can find someone else. Bye! Wait! Uh, please, we need you. Well, as Shakespeare definitely didn't say, that ship has sailed. I'm busy with Oklahoma the Musical, and I'm killing it, of course, but I'm sure your chubby pockmarked Romeo will be just fine. How dare you! I let things slide before, but this time I'll be telling the principal about how you talk to a teacher. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. So you'll come back to the show? No. Tony, you won't believe what happened. Henry's pants ripped in the middle of a sword fight. He freaked out and ran off stage. And when I walked over to him, he was crying. It took me 10 minutes to calm him down. Sorry, I'd rather not talk about that right now. What's wrong? Miss Karen told the principal about me. She outed me. And of course, he called my parents and explained everything, including the fact that I disrespected a teacher. What did your parents say? Nothing yet but they want to talk to me when they get home from work. I'm just waiting for them to get here. I'm so sorry. And the worst part is, I was finally happy. I was acting, doing what I love, and I met someone. What? Yeah, his name's Paul. He's my brother in the play. And we were finally going to have our first real date this weekend. And now, I don't know what's gonna happen. My parents will probably send me to that camp and I'll get brainwashed and my life will be over. God, that's terrible. What a bitch. Should I come over? No, that would just make things more awkward. But maybe lay off on Henry a bit. I'm starting to regret how ruthlessly we went after him. Are you serious? Yeah, he and his mom are ruining my life. But I hate to do the same thing back to them. Well, it's a little late for that now. He's already fat and ugly, and we only have a few days before the show. And if Henry is this bad on opening night, Miss Karen will definitely be looking for another job. I know, I know. Well, let me know what your parents say. And you can always crash at my house if things get rough. Or Paul's if the two of you are serious enough. Yeah, bye. Henry? Hi, this is Tony. Hi. Listen, man. I'm sorry if the play thing isn't turning out the way you expected. Dude, don't rub it in. I'm not. I mean, I was upset by what you did, but I think challenge can make you grow as a person. Are you making a fat joke? No, I was talking about myself. I just had a conversation with my parents. They found out I was gay, and they weren't thrilled. But they didn't freak out either. Especially after I told them how things were going with my play, and how I had this whole plan for the future. Wow. I know everything turned out great despite what you did to me, so I wanted to make amends. What do you say, Henry? Don't talk to me, faggot. Okay, so I was wrong about the whole growth thing. Good luck on your show. How's the cast party going? Great. Laughter nonstop. Everyone's laughing about Henry? What else? You saw him forget all his lines and belly flop onto the stage. I did. And I saw his costume split open along the stomach. But hey, out of every performance of Romeo and Juliet, yours probably got the most laughs. Don't rub it in. So did Romeo show up to the cast dinner? Nope. He and his mom left as soon as the curtains went down. Serves them right. So, when will I get to meet your new boyfriend? How about at our opening night? It's in two weeks, and it's going to be perfect. So, Oklahoma ended up being a huge success. We've been in performances for three weeks now, and the theater decided to extend our run. People loved the show, and it didn't hurt that everyone was comparing us to the Romeo and Juliet disaster. As for Miss Karen, her buddy the principal politely ended her contract, and she's looking for work elsewhere. I haven't seen her since their opening night, and I don't plan to. 
She made her choices, and now she has to live with them. I was worried that the school would lose the drama program completely, but the principal asked me if I knew anybody who would put on a better show. And I gave him a few names. And guess what? Now our assistant director in Oklahoma took over Miss Karen's position. He's a lot more inclusive and talented, so I think the next school play will be a huge improvement. And the best part? Paul and I are still together. I'm introducing him to my parents this weekend. Fingers crossed it goes well. My parents are still struggling with my coming out, but they're trying. I should have given them more credit. You're probably wondering about Henry, though. Well, he never apologized. And he still hates me. So I don't feel sorry that he's bigger and shittier than ever. I'm guessing he's close to 250 pounds now. I guess his dreams of stardom are officially over.